Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the stream. Today we are playing a game called uh, Empires of the Undergrowth. I played this game a few years ago, but uh, it's been a while. They just recently released a new Fire Ant update, so it's a pretty cool little RTS game uh, where you control different armies of ants trying to survive in the wilderness. Now I'm curious to try out this new uh, DLC update. Actually, I don't think it's a DLC, it's just an update. <laughs> but they had a lot of new mechanics since the last time I played, like uh, building ant bridges and climbing different uh, um, shrub and stuff like that. So a lot of new enemies to fight. Should be, should be pretty fun once we check it out. And if you guys are interested in seeing more games like this, uh, consider uh, leaving a like. Let me know in the comments below if, what you would like me to play. Also, consider subscribing for uh, weekly updates and uh, new gameplay streams. So, I hope you all enjoy. Let's get into it. So, since it's been a while. I think we're going to start over with the story. Try it out from scratch. Go with red. Let's see sure the game music is on found such a healthy specimen how long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism we should be patient and allow the colony to grow first I've placed food nearby then we will introduce the formica fusca and observe the reaction excellent Keep me updated on their progress. <laughs> something that really uh, got me into this game. That was pretty hmm. funny. Is, is something wrong? I, I have provided them with food just a few centimeters south of the queen, but, but they don't seem to be interested. If they are too distressed to collect food, then we will have to replace the colony and start again. Such a terrible waste. It's really funny. This game takes the perspective of a couple of scientists looking down at the ants. So we can we actually start out in the underground. We can dig through the different tiles here, looking for food. The goal is to build up an ant army and go and try to take take over the wilderness above. It's been a while since I played. Let's see if I can remember how to play this. All right, so this. The way this this isn't like your typical RTS. It, it's kind of you control the ants through pheromones, and that's these different groups down here. You can actually drag a group of ants and uh, right click. They'll kind of just automatically go to an area and gather food, or whatever you tell them. Generally, they'll attack anything along the way that they run into. And then here's a little bit of a base building aspect. We can actually uh set up a, a little food area for them to store the food. We have to kind of build it like a actual ant colony just to keep enemies from getting to our queen and have quick access to foods so that we can build more ants, that kind of stuff. I think we want to work our way up towards warrior ants. We'll 
Oh, already? Jeez. Let's so make some more. Yeah, I'm gonna turn down the game music because it's pretty generic stuff. On some background music. Oh, I guess it was out. Never mind. There we go. Hello, Nut Butters. Welcome to the stream. Set the difficulty. Uh, I guess that's further in. My weekend is going well, now, butters. Hope yours is going well as well. Can start building little rooms for different things. I think we'll put a warrior or worker ant room over here. Let's see. This is the base building over here. And that's how we can, from the ant tab, we can build our worker ants. The queen has begun to lay new eggs. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. The voice actors for the scientists in this game are really funny. They did a pretty good job. Okay, I think that's all the food down here. So let's go see if we can get to the up above ground. Let's see, oh, I have to actually. Tell them to dig the opening. So if I remember correctly, uh, enemy insects like giant beetles and stuff can, and other ant colonies can come through this opening to raid us. Guess that's where you get kind of the army RTS style of the game. Liking the voice acting, other butters? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty interesting. So this is the above ground. It's really interesting how they have two different maps compared to traditional RTSs. Pretty cool concept, though. You can just quickly switch between them like this. Yeah, yeah. Look for some more food. Side, maybe See, these are fast tiles, so it's like you can create a little road for your ants, make them run faster. I didn't waste my food, but we'll find out. 
So up here to the left is our research. We can actually upgrade our ants as we go through the campaign. Which we are just at the base worker ants at the moment. Yeah, uh, we need a uh, jelly to it's kind of like the upgrade currency. So I think uh, this we just start selecting levels from the main campaign. This is kind of like a lobby area where you uh, kind of get the story from the scientist's perspective. Which I think to progress in that part, we need to go actually do these missions. Let's try out hard, see how we do. Former Carrium Challenge, so that that's for this upper mission that we're in right now. This is actually the former Carrium. Music is relaxing? Yeah, yeah. Not so bad, is it? I think it is time we connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these Eruptors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Uh oh. Let's begin with a small threat. We're connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. Uh... I don't have warriors unlocked. Let's see if I can survive this. Ah, <laughs> crap. Yeah, I think I might have wasted my uh, food there. We might have to restart this. Let's see. Do I get the money back, or do I get the food back? Take these out. See, the problem is we need food to respawn more workers to be able to fight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that gives us some, some food back. Alright. There we go. 14 workers. This should go a little bit better now. We connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these eruptors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Another butter says this is a neat concept. <laughs> this kind of brings me back to my younger days. We're connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. Reminds me of when I used to watch ant colonies as a kid. See them fight each other. There they go. Yeah, it's a little bit more even this time. Oh. Come back. Gotta regroup. Here they come. <laughs> oh, man, we don't have any warriors. If we hold all, we can see the health bars. Yeah, this is this is a bit rough. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. <laughs> you got bit by a fire ant one time, now, butters? Yeah, it's not fun. 
can, it can really hurt if they get you on the right spot. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should. What That's how we lose. On? What happened to the queen? The ants were weak and confused. We should start again with a healthier colony. Very well. Purge the formicarium. <laughs> that is brutal. All right. <clears throat> well, let's see. I think what we need to do is try to form a concave on them. See if we can uh, group up right here. Maybe get rid of a few of these tiles. All right, let's give that a shot. Now we might have to lower the difficulty. We connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these eruptors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Let's begin with a small threat. Uh, connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. You believe in me, Nutter Butters? Yeah, we'll try. We can do it this time. There go. Alright, concave. No! There you go. Outnumber him. Ah! Oh, those, those guys are really upgraded. Holy crap. Yep. I don't think we can uh, handle that just yet till we get some upgrades. Let's go for medium, maybe. I think it is time we connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. Yep. Rip ants. I want to see how these eruptors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. begin with a small threat. Uh, connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. Forget how hard this game is without any upgrades unlocked. Surround him. Oh, <laughs> those warriors are still kicking our ass. The queen is in danger. I guess we'll have to start with easy. Okay. We connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these eruptors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Yeah, Let's we are. begin with a small threat. Uh, connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. Come. All right, attack. Oh, she's still kicking her ass.
Jeez. The queen is in danger. Hmm. Let's see, maybe we uh built too much when we first started. Guess let's start over and see if we can do it a little bit better. Yeah, they made it pretty difficult, Nutter Butters. Ah, I see the Queen has taken well to her new home. It's... it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Thonica Fusca and observe the reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. See, if I remember correctly, I think we need to leave some ants on the main colony pheromone here. So that they keep uh, laying or dropping eggs from the queen. We keep getting more respawns. I think we just need to build up a bigger army. Minimal food tiles for now. Now you guys go back to colony. And let's build some more workers. Not a very strong army yet, but we'll see. The queen has begun to lay new eggs. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. Okay. You guys go collect more food. Yeah, I think this might go smoother. Just need a bigger army. Okay, and then we got this nice choke right here. We'll leave it at that. Open the gates. Fifteen jelly right now. Not enough to do anything. Okay, let's go set up our ambush here. Give this another shot. the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these erectors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Let's begin with a small threat. Uh, connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. Come. 
get him. Man, it still wasn't enough. Jeez, these ants are struggling. I feel like they made this game a lot harder. This time we connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these erectors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Let's begin with a small threat. We're connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. We lose this time. We might have to go see if there's a tutorial or something that we're missing. Hey, everyone, get ready to charge. Here we go. Ah, oh, come on. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Actually, I wonder. I wonder if we need to do the. I bet we need to do these two missions before we do the challenge, because I think the challenge unlocks the next former carrion level. So that's probably where we're failing. Let's go try that. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. Oh boy. These exclamation marks are enemies, I believe. Bigger bugs. This will be interesting. Actually, let's not go that way yet. <laughs> let's get some basic food going. Little larva. Don't attack back. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Butchered and carried off, man. Ants are brutal. <laughs> Grab that food. Spot for a worker room over here. Oh, we can actually make warriors on this one. Nice. Guess we'll start with some warriors then. This is going a little bit better than that challenge. I think we just need to unlock some technologies first. Right, I guess the warriors don't gather. Oh, we're out of storage. That's why. Okay. Like some more warriors? Uh, 
right, wait for those warriors to hatch and then we'll go attack this room over here. We don't have enough food yet. Let's put our workers with them. Give them a little help there. All right, here they come. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. <laughs> the devil's coach If the ants are disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. Man. He just made a bunch of bugs sound pretty epic. <laughs> Alright, let's go gather this food. Build up our warriors. I think we want to keep a little bit of food in the reserves, just in case we need a respawn. Okay. Let's break it open. See what, we, see what we got. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. That's why we need response. We are losing them. Yeah, not too bad. Getting used to the controls here. Looks like we can move the camera with WASD. Sweet. Yeah. We got a lot to dig through here. Look at all that. Okay. Uh, it looks like a pretty big army up here. Well, I, so they, I guess they got bigger exclamation marks for the, the big bugs. The big bosses. Let's go down here. See, so yeah, try our luck down here. Before we do that, let's get some more warriors. I think we need another warrior room. Actually, we can turn this into a warrior room right here. Make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. Now we're talking. Need to get some speed tiles here soon. Okay. That is all the food we got. All right, here we go. There are intruders in the nest. Attack! The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. 
Yeah, don't worry, I'm working on it. Get you guys some more food. Look at that. Easy. I think we need a few more workers now. Seven. Keep at home. So that little king icon is the the work as you get from the queen's area. I'll leave those guys to do the work. Keep the queen satisfied. Cool if you can fight uh, an army of termites or something, kind of like that old movie Ants. You guys remember that movie? That was a pretty good movie. There are intruders in the nest. Surround them. Best movie ever. That's right, now, butters. One of the best, anyways. Let's see, I think is there a setting to turn on how much food is on a bigger bug? Creature info? No. That's not what we want. Resource info. Yeah. There we go. Shows how much uh, food is in this item. Or bug. Carcass. Whatever you call it. Alright. So we got a nice little path going on here. I think if we just keep this going, we should be able to protect the colony pretty easily. Some more warriors going. Slowly building up. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. I think they have a bit of an advantage on us through that choke point. We want to. We want to be able to surround them. Get more mouths biting on them. All right. Bringing in the grub. Literally. Look at that feast. Oh, yeah. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. It's okay. We got warriors, bitch. We fuck them up. This should be able to grow a pretty nice army from that much food. Yeah, I think we need a better food location here. Uh, let's try this. They don't have to travel as far. Keep 
Speed tiles going as well. Is that all the food? Wow. Go through that pretty quick. Pretty easy food right here, at least. Yeah. I think they're wanting us to build up a pretty big army before we go into all of this. Expensive. Okay. What do we want to break into first here? Let's take them head on. Here we go. There are intruders in the nest. Ooh, that's a lot of them. You guys are pretty easy. So what we used to call them is, uh, we used to call them earwicks. More slang term for these guys. Big warrior room here. Create another path there. Another bear says, I wonder what life is like for an ant. Well, we're getting a little bit of a taste of it from this game, I think. Pretty sure the developers did a lot of research on ants. Seems pretty legit. If I remember correctly, I think they even worked with some ant experts, but I'm not too sure about that. It's been a while since I've been updated from the developers of this game. We are completely out of food. Alright. Predators are loose in the nest. Ooh. The larvae must be protected. I think we want to surround them. The colony is starving. There, there is not enough food to feed the Get new. Get a concave brood. on them. There we go. That's how you want to do it. All right. Earwick Smorgasbord. Nice little speed path right there. They just drop the food off as they go by. Actually, keep that path going. Here we are. Okay. More warriors. More food up here.
another uh, lice or uh, what are these guys? The roly polies? Roly poly feast. Food to finish this off, maybe. Yeah, just like that. And that's why we keep seven back at base so they can keep taking eggs to their hatching areas. Okay, that side is blocked off. I don't think we're ready for that yet. Let's go this way. These uh, lighter tiles here are rocks that we can't dig through. As you can see, there's no cursor over it. There are intruders in the nest. Okay, let's get a little concave going. There's only two of them attacking us while we're surrounding them on every side. Oh, three of them. All right. Let's see. Can we have some more warriors over here? are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh yeah, that's a nice choke right there. feast should be able to get a pretty large army with this let's make this room a little bit bigger there we go A warrior ant count is looking pretty good so far. Maybe we should get a few more workers. Probably keep some workers back at home too. So they can refill eggs quicker. food storage here. Just so we have more on reserves. Alright. Uh, oh, we got more food back here. Wrong pheromone. Okay. Upgrade the road. Pretty good. Take on this big group over here. Let's 
Let's see, we'll wait for him in the bigger chamber so we can surround him. Sacrifice a couple workers to lure him out. Yo. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Choke point worked out perfectly. Look at all those bodies. Eee. Okay. So the goal of this stream is I want to work our way up to fire ants as quickly as possible because I want to check out the new DLC or the new update. I mean. few workers with the army so they can get to this quicker. Let's actually upgrade our workers a little bit. Basically cannon fodder to take some of the damage. Okay, I think we're ready for the last group. Actually, let's wait for him over here. Should we get a nice surround going? Ready to open the floodgates. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae oh must be protected. Oh, they're coming the other way. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant, and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The Devil's Coach Horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Hell yeah. Build the army. <laughs> you think this game is satisfying, Nutter Butters? I'm having fun with it. It's been, it's been a while. <laughs> okay, we need more food stores. Let's continue building our army a little bit. Got a lot of food from that. That was a big bug. Look at that. It's still giving us food. We are building a nice little colony here. Okay. So well, that's interesting. He didn't send all of them at us at once. So I think we can wait for him here now. Make this a little bit bigger. Oh, we should have left some food in reserves. Oh well. I think we can handle this. Alright. 
All right. There are intruders in the nest. Tech. Beautiful choke point right there. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Kill him, take some of that food back. Oof. So we can get us around on him. Uh, they are kicking our ass at the moment. I mean, that wasn't a very good choke point. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I think we screwed that up. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess we have to restart the level if we fail. Crap. There's no uh, autosave or anything. Well, crap. Uh, now, now we're getting a little bit used to it again. I think this we can... Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. See if we can get there a little bit faster this time. Make sure we have food backups next time. have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. Yes, we are working on that. Need the small group on base for now.
Let our army get caught up here. Here we go. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Okay. Is going now. Good spot for a warrior. Room. Keep the rest of the food on backup. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae oh, no. must be protected. They got a concave on us. Okay. Uh, we're doing alright. Defense to fence, that's right, Nutter Butters. We should have a better defense this time. Okay. Get prepared in the food room. Ranching out this way. Is going. Okay. See, let's open this up a little bit. Make it easy to concave. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae nope. must be protected. Yeah. See how fast he went down with all those mouths biting him? Alright. We'll do... Secondary food storage right here. going. Intruders in the nest. Here they come. This looks like four of those earwigs can fit down a path. They'll lay better traps for them. Damn. 
Okay. Looks like all we can do is one warrior for now. We got more food up here. That's right. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Workers going. Let's get everybody up there. Just to go a little bit faster. See if we can survive it this time. We'll start another warrior room right here. coming mm. yeah, let's cancel some of these just in case oh, I think we're good actually yep Food up this way. We form a start coming our way, and then we'll set an ambush. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae Go. must be protected. And attack. That concave on him. Uh, that was a little late. Damn it. Oh well. Ooh, we lost a lot on that fight. Yeah, that was a bit rough. Let's build back a little bit stronger here. amount of reserves going now. Let's wait. Right. Just taking that food first. I need to send the workers on it. Try this again here, a little bit closer this time. Oh wait, do those workers not get it? Huh. I guess the workers can't chew into those. 
predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Maybe not. Oh, we were out of food storage, that's why. Some more warriors going. A little bit more food storage. Let's keep our speed path going through here. Stores are full again. Go. Let's finish off this army. I think we're gonna need a lot more to take out this big group. Honestly, I think we just wait for them to come to us. Once they start attacking right here, we can send them in. There are intruders in the nest. Here they come. Yep. Beautiful concave right there. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. See, we got enough reserves, we can just keep respawning. They can only attack with four, I think. Okay. Stop sending our workers to die. Some more warriors. <laughs> we can just open that up. Separate them by the road. All right. Try to keep some reserves this time. Since our workers are so weak, we'll stop sending them with the warrior group. There are intruders in the nest. Oh, they're... <laughs> okay, fuck it. Just attack. I guess I was too close. Storage. Should be good enough. Okay, we got 37 warriors. Probably want at least 50 before we take on this group. Yeah, a little bit further back this time. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Hey, here they come. Mm. 
Not the most ideal concave. Brings us up to 43. Uh, we could use a few more. All right, we got some more food up here at least. All right, I believe that's all we can do for now. We'll win it this time, not a butters. Hell yeah, that's right. Picking up the food. Try to get above fifty warriors here. I think we want to do maybe one more warrior room. if they overlap a little bit. This guy's in here. Okay. I think that's all we want to do for now. Keep our workers back on reserve. Okay, let's come back a little bit. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. All right, there you go. Yeah. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant and protected by Beautiful thick plates concave. of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. All right, so we want to make sure we have a decent amount of food reserves this last group. few more of these. Okay. I think that's the best we got for now. All right, open it up. There are intruders in the nest. All right, get him in that choke point.
That's a little bit better than last time. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Whew. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. So the problem is there's two of those big guys and they're get they have an AOE spray. So we we need to get a nice surround on them. Like that. Yeah, okay. Oh, we might actually survive this. We say everything we got. Come on guys, kill. So those choke points are not good for the for the big sprayers. Oh, we just barely survived. <laughs> Thought we were gonna lose again. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the Queen is safe. Okay. Oh, we got some jelly from that. Oh, we can just select our reward. So this is for the formicarium. Extra food. Right, let's get extra jelly. Yeah. We want to upgrade. Oh, achievements. That's new. Okay. Get ready for the next one. How is the colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. Adapting, learning, we're getting there. Okay, what can we upgrade here? Hey, what do we need to unlock warriors? Okay, so we don't have enough jelly to lock the black ants, which I believe are the warriors. Wood ants, those are our sprayers, so they're kind of like archers in a way. These are our main melee attackers, black ants that we just played on the last level. So 10, 10 jelly to upgrade our workers. And then... Can upgrade their attack damage. Yeah, I think we can skip fish and brood as long as we have a decent road going through the colony. Yeah, let's make them a little bit more aggressive. So do we have enough to upgrade them? We do. I believe that is all really we have. Oh, you can upgrade them to tier three. Sweet. And then I think we take the upgrade button here. Okay, so you have to have a full room like that. How much food does it cost? Original cost of tile. Hmm. 20 food. Okay, let's not upgrade too much yet till we get some more food. See, I think on the next mission, we probably want to get extra food for the former carrier. Alright. Well, as we prepare for the next one, I'll be right back, everyone. Be back in just two minutes.
All right, I am back. Get myself another beer. Ready to kill some ants. Here we go. Kill some bigger bugs. Oh, there's a bunch of food right here. There we go. Do that. Nutter says, welcome back. Thank you, Nutter Butters. Okay, that should give us plenty of food to work with. I think we can turn that off. Not really necessary. Store is a little bit bigger. Right, we get some ants back at the base to drop some eggs. Speed tiles between the queen and the larva. Okay. A lot better on the formicarium. Speed tiles going to the outside. All right, enough for a basic little army there. Territory points? Interesting. Huh. Oh, these are the territory points up here. Okay. Interesting. But we only have a certain amount of space that we can use. Maybe should have left some of the food out there, but we'll see how this goes. Upgrade some of these workers. Make them stronger. But it says kind of neat with the territory points. Yeah, kind of. It's like a different game mode for the former carrium. Makes you have to really think about your upgrades and your how you use the space. Man, we got lots of food up there. It's not enough jelly for warriors yet. Should be enough to have a decent amount in reserves. <laughs> it's pretty cool how they go up and down the hill there. They pop in in the underground. 
Oh, wow. We're already filled up. Okay. Let's see, I guess we'll do a few more upgrades. Get a couple level threes going. And then these little... Little uh, golden icons next to their health bar. That's the level that they're at. As you, yeah, they're a little bit bigger too, I think. Makes them grow in size. Interesting. <laughs> you found the ant icon, Nutter Butters. I didn't even know that was a type of emoji. Okay, let's see. Wonder if we can let's, let's try the challenge. See how we do. Do it at medium. Might need some more I think level it's threes. Time we connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these eruptors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Let's begin with a small threat. You're connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. All right, here we go. We can do a lot better this time. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're doing way better. Just needed to do the right order of the levels. The Erectors identified the threat and responded very quickly. Excellent. Let's see how they handle a few more, shall we? Introducing 20 Formica Fusca ants. Oh boy. Oh, that's a lot of them. <laughs> oh no. Uh, here they come. Get a surround on them. I think we got a decent amount of reserves going. Wow, guys, we got twice their numbers. Ooh. I guess we don't get any food from ants. Our raptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Continue the experiment and let me know the results. Don't add more than 30 ants at once, though. We don't want to harm the queen. Understood. Uh-oh. That's not good. Mm, I wonder how they will react to a rival Oreptor colony. Introducing 40 rival Oreptor ants. Oh, I think we're dead. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... They're level ones. We might be okay. We'll see. Get them, boys. We still got food in reserve, so we might be okay. Oh, yeah. I think those are just basic workers. Straight up red ant battle right here. Oh, yeah. We are fine. Nice. Excellent. Introducing a further 50 rival Raptor ants. <laughs> I can handle 10 more. Let's go. <laughs> Not better says the music makes it even better. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting charm to the game. Uh, 
Ugh. Look at those battle lines forming. Oof. Yeah, I should have gone with a different color. A little hard to tell who's who. Fascinating. Now let's try sixty raptor ants. Oh, this guy's not quitting, is he? Looks like he didn't listen to his boss very well. Wait from around the corner. I think we're winning most of the battles. Yeah. It's a good thing we upgrade. A superb response. Oh, they dropped some seeds for us. Perhaps a small reward. Look to the surface. Mm. Is he setting a trap for us? I think he is. We'll see. Hmm, what about a combination of a raptor oh. and a fusca? Let's and start with twenty of each. I knew it. I knew it. Get out of there. Oh, here they come. Oh, they just got twenty warriors coming at us. This is gonna be rough. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I've got him around the corner. Oh, boy. I think we grabbed that food. <laughs> oh, man, we are taking losses. Yeah, that scientist is a bit of a dick, isn't he, Nutter Butters? Okay. That wasn't too bad. An unconventional defense, yet highly effective. It's interesting to see the colony fight on two fronts. Perhaps we should try 30 of each. He's just gonna keep increasing the numbers on us, isn't he? Oh boy. Um. Yeah, let's regroup. 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 Okay, attack. Low on numbers here. Ooh, he better give us some food on the next one. Ooh, boy. That one was a little rough. Once again, our raptors triumph. Yay, hey, more food. Some <laughs> seeds on the surface for my succeeding raptors. Gather them quickly. Yeah, no kidding. Before you say more crap at us.
colony's ability to withstand such overwhelming assaults is incredible. I wonder, how will they handle a sustained flow of aggressive? Oh, no. Sustained flow, that's not cool. Oh, boy. <laughs> Get in the surround on them. There we go. Let's keep the numbers up. Oh boy. Oh, they're surrounding us now. Uh let's make things a little more interesting, shall we? Okay. Enter the devil's coach horse. Oh, they're staring, sending earwicks at us now? Oh, come on. That's not how it would happen. Those earwigs would be eating the, the other ants. Oh, you dirty bastard. You dirty bastard. <laughs> uh, come on, workers. Keep them coming. Oh, boy. Whoops. I seem to have dropped my beetles. I hope they don't harm the little ants. Oh, you bastard. No. <laughs> Uh, I don't. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's just too many of them. Oh. Let's see if we can. Can we build up a little bit? Oh, not the queen. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Perhaps. Yeah, we're dead. Enough for now. We're dead. <laughs> this, uh. Yeah, we're gonna need to complete that other level. Get some warriors. Yeah, it's too much for us at the moment. Ooh. This Formica Fusca Black Ant Queen has given birth to her first brood. While the workers established their new territory in the earth, above ground, a nearby colony of Formica Sanguinea slave maker ants are on the lookout for would be victims. These ants specialize in stealing larvae from neighboring nests and raising them as their own. If the Black Ant Colony isn't prepared for the inevitable incursion, they may be wiped out entirely. Hmm. This, uh, this sounds like it's gonna be an interesting mission. Formica Sanguinea are not the only danger for the fledgling colony. There is something even more sinister nearby, lurking in the darkness. Hmm. A lot of enemies on this one. Okay. Plenty of food to get a little army going here. Wait for him to gather it. Okay. It's a uh, little bit of food reserves going here. Spot for that. Hmm. The 
let's uh let's build it right here for food food stores Where can we go without having to worry about enemies so far? Up here? Ooh, bunch of food this way. Question is, can we handle the enemies? room over here. Oh, nope, nope, never mind. Never mind. Sigestria Florentina, a funnel web spider. She is large, fast, and equipped with a deep, powerful bite. Her oh, she's lair is picking me off. by sheets of silk woven between tripwires that radiate out from the entrance. She can detect even the slightest vibrations with her sensitive legs. Kill that bitch. There the we go. that strays too close will be snapped away in the blink of an eye. By working together, the ants have overwhelmed one of the funnel web spiders. She won't be causing any more trouble for the colony. Her sisters, however, still present a problem. Okay. Food over here. I don't open that up yet. A sanguineous scout has sensed the presence of the black ants. What? A raid on the colony is now inevitable. Oh, he's the question remains as to whether they will merely pillage a generation of young or wipe out the colony entirely. In oh, the end, bet. it will come down to the tenacity of the defending ants. Okay, I stole one of my eggs. That bastard. A lot of enemies that way. Let's try to come this way. Let's get some more warriors first. There are intruders in the nest. Well, that spider's still in my food. Let's get him. There we go. Workers gathering. X raid in 20 seconds. Be ready for him this time. The raiding party has arrived. The slave makers will head straight for the brood chambers. They <laughs> must be stopped. We're ready for them this time. Nice try. The raiding party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe. For now. 
at all that food. Guys gathering food over there. So we could uh, open this up. Find another spider. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Man, that guy just insta kills my ants. Kill him. There we go. Free food over there. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Where? Oh, crap. That's a lot of spiders. Go after it. for now. Oh, crap. Here they come. There Stop is them. no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. Yeah, kill him before he takes off. No! Get away. The raiding Bastard. party is left, and with them they have taken 10% of the Black Ant Brood. The danger may be gone for now, but this truce is merely a formality. The Sanguini are already planning their next onslaught. We are limited on space here. There are intruders in the nest. Oh, those bastards are still in the food. Let's go kill them. Still carrying food. The ants must fight. Nice. Okay. Get that bastard over there. soon. Lost all those workers. <laughs> Kill his ass. There we go. The Sanguinia colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. Oh, we're ready for him this time. Ah, oh, one got away. Okay. 
The raiding party has left, and with them they have taken 10% of the Black Ant Brood. The Queen must lay quickly to return the colony to its former strength. Yeah, that's better. Okay, let's get some more food reserves here. I think up to the right here is a good spot for another warrior room. Let's attack. Let's figure out where, where we're missing food here. To the eggs quicker. There is no respite from the culling. The sanguinia will subjugate oh. or exterminate. Stop him. No. Bastard. They took a bunch of eggs that time. Okay. The raiding party has left and with them they have taken 10% of the Black Ant Brood. It is only a matter of time before they return. They a nice army going here. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh. Hello. There's some food anywhere? Right there. Kill little spiders. Yeah. There we go. Ready for the next raid. Nine seconds. The slave Ooh. makers are back. They can sense larvae. Big they army. Want their share. Yeah, not this time, guys. 
Oh, we got ants all the over the chat. The party was no match for the valiant defenders. The brood remains safe for now. Okay. So let's, uh, let's open up another room here. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Everybody says, give me your jelly. Yes, we need more jelly. There are intruders in the nest. Workers going. Okay. Right. Send these guys down here. Attack coming. Let's get ready for it. Nice big open area to surround them. There is no respite from the culling. The Sanguinia will subjugate or exterminate. Yeah, can't even get past us anymore. The raiding party was no match for the Valiant Defenders. The brood remains safe for now. Some big hatchery rooms. Eey. Worker army Predators just are loose in the nest. The larvae yeah, must up. be protected. Oh, the ants way. must defend themselves. Just need one more worker. That's all the food down here. About as much as we can build, anyways. Get the workers over there. Yeah, that is all the food down here. Storage a little bit bigger. Can we upgrade some of our army ants here? The Sanguinia colony seeks once again to bolster its numbers. A battalion of slave makers charge into the nest. Get them, boys, get them. 
Yeah. Once again, the slave makers return to their nests with new black ant larvae to raise as their own. The raids will continue, but this Formica Fusca colony has proved its capacity to endure and grow. Eventually, they will surpass their parasitic overseers, and the continued raids of the slave makers will reduce to nothing more than a mere inconvenience for the great Black Ant Empire. Well, that one wasn't too bad. We have to up the difficulty a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Get some jelly. Yeah, no achievements. Okay. How is the colony progressing? The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. All that food up there. Yeesh. Okay. Uh, let's work on our. Yes, we can afford them. Finally, get some warriors. And we are out of jelly. All right. Gonna use all of our territory points. It will be worth it. Okay. The Raptor workers have raised the first Formica Fusca ant. Finally, we have the opportunity to observe multiple species within the same colony. Just have to fully upgrade all of our warriors. We won't have very many of them. There'll be the big boys walking around. that first never mind yeah I guess we'll see how far we get let's see the stores are full okay Start the challenge and uh, we'll wait for him. I think it is time we connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these eruptors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. See if we can find them a little bit better on the outside. If get a better surround on them. Let Begin with a small threat. Uh, connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. They come. Surround them, boys. I don't think we lost anything there. The Raptors identified the threat and responded very quickly. Excellent. Let's see how they handle a few more, shall we? Introducing 20 Formica Fusca ants. Tech. Yeah, we're getting a nice surround on them. losing a couple this time. Uh, 
Our eruptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Continue the experiment and let me know the results. Don't add more than 30 ants at once, though. We don't want to harm the queen. Understood. Hmm, I wonder how they will react to a rival eruptor colony. Introducing 40 rival eruptor ants. Dirty bastard. Alright, I'm ready for you this time. Yeah, those warriors, those black warrior ants, they're doing work. Yeah, we haven't needed to get any more food Excellent. yet. Introducing a further 50 rival Oreptor ants. Okay. See how this battle line goes. Round him. Yeah. Yeah, we are doing much better now. Fascinating. Now, let's try 60 Raptor Ants. Strategy seems to be working. We bait them in and then we... Come at them right as they get there. Try to surround them. A superb response. Okay. You're doing admirably, my erectors. Perhaps a small rule. Look to the surface. All right, we are full on food anyway, so. See, I wonder if I can. Let's try to upgrade some more of these guys. A combination of a raptor and a fusca. Let's start with twenty of each. Okay. We have to balance both sides here. Um, eh, it's working. It's working. Okay. Not bad. Catch on this food. Conventional defense, yet highly effective. It's interesting to see the colony fight on two fronts. Perhaps we should try 30 of each. Oh, oh, better get ready. I think we have to fight on the inside. Here they come. Uh, let's uh, regroup. Maybe. I think we got him. Okay. Ooh. The rest of them were fighting outside, I guess. Not bad. Some more of that food. Once again, our raptors triumph. Some seeds on the surface for my succeeding raptors. Gather them quickly. All right, we are doing all right so far. Getting a lot of tier threes on the workers going. So. Not too bad.
All right. Any food stores here? The colony's ability to withstand such overwhelming assaults is incredible. I wonder, how will they handle a sustained flow of aggressors? Let's see, let's, uh, let's come back into the base to handle this. Interesting, shall we? Enter the Devil's Coach Horse. Oh yeah, uh, we are doing way better this time. Come on, guys, get us around, Otto. Yeah, uh, well, we're doing okay. Not bad at all. Whoops! Comes a big guy. You dropped my beetles. I hope they don't harm the little lands. Can we go out there and surround them? Hey, Julie, welcome. Come join the ant party. Come on, guys, surround them. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're almost on. No, come on. You guys are so close. Get to him. Oh, he's taking some health. There we go. Keep pressing the advantage. Perhaps that's enough for now. Oh, we are losing food reserves. We might have just enough to survive this. Okay, one down. There we go. Plenty of food reserves, we're doing okay. What's up, Matt? Welcome. Playing a Ants Battle RTS. <laughs> Have you ever seen this game before? How has the colony been responding? They mounted an excellent defense against 20, 25, and even 30 Fusca ants, as you suggested. Perfect. Perhaps we can provide more of a challenge for them next time. What a fantastic suggestion. <laughs> yeah, he did that anyways. Yeah, we got ants, ant armies in the chat. Look at that. Get some more jelly and do some more upgrades. All right, look at all that food. Hell yeah. Send Let's see how the colony to... grows over the next few days. Now that they have experienced battle, I expect to see a significant rise in the number of soldiers. That's right. Then you're gonna get former Carrium army going. Yeah, look at all that territory. Let's see, let's expand our food a little bit too. That should be a good start. Let's upgrade our warriors. 15 jelly. It's a good start. Okay, we got 87 left. I don't think we need to upgrade the queen yet. Defensive workers, I like that. Cannot take more than 20 damage in a single attack and reduce incoming damage by 20%. That's what we need for cannon fodder. There we go. Self repair.
Hmm, do we want attack speed on the work on the warriors? Or do we want to make them more tanky? What do you think, chat? Matt says, is this an ant simulation? Yeah, it's a bit of an ant simulator. It's also kind of an RTS as well. A little bit of a combination. See, the, the workers are kind of our cannon fodder. So they're kind of our tanks. Let's go for attack speed. What do you guys think? Oh, you guys say tank? Tank on the warriors? Okay. Well, I guess uh, the wood ants could be our damage dealers eventually. Kind of like archers. All right. Guess we're going for defense. Chat has spoken. All right. That's all the jelly we got for now. We need. Hmm. So there's two different kinds of wood ants. We got the mortars, so they, they can do more area of effect damage. And then we got the rapid fires. Uh oh. Nut Butters is going on a jelly rampage. Watch out, guys. Alright, let's build up the army. Butters thinks rapid fire. Yeah, that might be a good choice. So the way, uh, since you guys just joined Mad Julie, the way this RTS works is you don't actually control the individual ants. You actually control them through uh, pheromones, these pheromone markers. They're kind of like control groups. You can drag them left and right to the different groups here. And you just place the marker and they go do their tasks. Like gather food or attack an enemy. They always want to keep a group on the home pheromone here. Like protect the queen and put the eggs on their nursery tiles. Pretty fun game. I'm enjoying it. Really interesting mechanics. Let's get our food tiles. I think we can also upgrade our food tiles. Yeah, look at that. Better food storage. Start upgrading our warriors. We got food coming in. Getting well up to level two at least. as we can too with the food that we got. Good enough for now. Let's uh, go on to the next mission. Yeah, see, we unlocked the challenge two levels. All 
right, let's try out Rising Tide. See, I think we get, yeah, we get more jelly from the harder difficulties. Ooh. All right, let's go, let's try out these uh, wood ants on this one. You guys said rapid fire, I believe. Got multi levels on the surface. This will be interesting. This Formica Rufa wood ant queen has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach, the perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. At the moment, the tide is out, but it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can while they can. Well, this is going to be a time challenge, isn't it? Let's see, let's put some food right here. I, s I swear I know how to speak English. Ant party, that's right, Nut Butters. Let's get it going. Let's see, get more food down here. Those guys are protected. Hmm. Is that all the food we got? Jeez. Um, I guess let's open up the surface. But before we do that, uh, let's get some workers going over here. Nice little worker area. Actually, that, that might be better for our warriors up there. Let's do some workers down here. That's about all we can do with the amount of money we got, or food. Chats, haven't I? There yeah. is food to be found all over the beach, but the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Tiger beetles frequent the higher ground, and they will Ooh. make quick work of any wood ant that strays too close. Uh, those guys are gonna be tough. Oh boy! At least we got some food on the surface. I think we're gonna have to try to sneak some food from these guys. As you can see, they're going on a little bit of a patrol path there. Hmm. There's a bunch of them. And down here is the tide. I think we have to be careful of the tide. Else we drown. Okay, let's get some warriors going. A decent start. Can we steal over here? I think. Let's see if we can grab there this. There are other wood ants out here. They have also come to take advantage of the buffet provided by the sea. Territorial disputes will invariably favor the colony with the greater numbers. Let's go try to steal some of this food before the tide comes in. The battle has begun. Oop. Already fighting these guys. Oh, he's kicking my ass. He 
Let's, we need to create a room. Or our spitters. There we go. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Got a little bit of food coming back in here. Oh, oh, we're fighting. Oh boy. War of the Ant Hills, that's right, not a butters. Ah, oh, they're still in our food, those bastards. Let's see if we can get some of this food. Warriors right there. Workers come this way. There we go. Warriors, you guard that side. Is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. Okay, I think we're safe from the tide for now. Right. Try to take that food, the warriors. Okay. Get a couple more spitters. Now yeah, we are really fighting for the food here. You remember that song, huh, Julie? Let's go marching. Ooh, a little close to that guy there. Still some of these? Maybe. Oh. The ants must fight. Oh no. The ants have been spotted by Chichindala dorsalis, the beach tiger beetle. With its long slender legs, it's the king of speed on these intertidal flats. Its wide carving jaws will slice effortlessly through squads of wood ants. Oh, crap. It's going to take a monumental unified effort to bring this beast down. Yeah, I think we're gonna need a fight the water is that rising guy quickly. while the ants must head for higher ground. We'll have to somehow distract that beetle while we get some of the food. Okay. So. I think we're going to need some more workers here. Okay. Alright, let's send... Send the warriors in first, and then the workers to gather the food. Battle has begun. Uh, turn off attack for the workers. There we go. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. It's kind of working a little bit. The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. So what I'm doing here is you can turn off, gather food, or attack for certain groups. Okay, 
let's get out of there. <laughs> oh boy. No. All right, just take him out. Take him out. Crap. The tide is in, and soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. Oh boy. It will be wise for the Rufa colony to stay underground, and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. Ooh, just barely killed him. Yeah, let's gather that food. Overground, nocturnal hermit crabs rule over the sands at night. These creatures are typically scavengers, searching for algae and carrion on the beach. But due to the unusual incursion of Formica Rufa colonies into this area, this particular community of crabs has developed a taste for ant flesh. Oh boy. Okay. A hermit crab has found its way into the nest. The ants must mount a swift and decisive defense. Kill that bastard. So let's get our workers to gather food. Food real quick. Let's come back. This is getting tricky. Yeah, I think we got more of these suckers coming in here. Attack one. There's too many of them over there. Uh, just attack this guy. Here we go, buddy. We got one coming into the colony. A group of hermit crabs have stormed the nest. Oh, no, 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 no. The larvae <laughs> must be protected. Oh, boy. Keep the food coming in. more spitters. These guys are doing some work. Oh. Oh. There's a lot of crabs out there now. <laughs> Keep bringing food to us. Yeah, we had to sacrifice a few of them. No butters. That's right. That's a big one. We. Can we upgrade some of our warriors here? The colony is starving. 
there's not enough food to feed the new brood. These are tanks. There we go. Right, collect that food. Ooh, More hermit lot. crabs have found the nest. I need to upgrade some spitters. Doing okay. Doing alright. There we go. Keep that food coming. Spitters, I think we're doing pretty good now. Okay. Is that all that we got coming in for now? Oh, here they come. Two big ones. on three. Let's put the spitters on two. There we go. That'll be our anti gather. Okay. The tide is receding and a new day dawns. The hunters of the night return to the safety of the shadows. Oh. And the ants can begin to lay down new trails. The harvest must go on. Okay. I think we're... let's go gather. Do we want to kill no one of those guys? Let's get group one over here. You guys guard. The ants must defend themselves. Oh. oh boy. Uh oh. Never mind. Never mind. It's a bit too far. The battle has begun. All right, doing a lot better. Upgrade some more of our warriors. Then we'll start making more.
fight this other colony for food over here. There you go. Take him out, boys. Get some more workers going. I think we're fighting. This is a lot to manage here. Food. Spitters are expensive. Sixty food. Thought he would steal some food, didn't he? The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Go down here. Actually, there's some more food over here. Need a little more food storage. fighting them. All right. Strategy's working out pretty well. Just leave my workers alone. All right, should be plenty of food now. here and there. Start upgrading some of our workers. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. Alright, you guys start gathering. Smoothly. Uh, better hurry up and 
finish gathering that food. The tide's gonna come in soon. Water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. Right, get out of there. Okay, I guess we'll start working down over here then. Uh, hurry up and get out of there, guys. Oof. Seven seconds to spare. All right, let's try to take out one of these guys. Easy. The huge tiger beetle has been defeated. There are many more of them, but this is a milestone moment for the colony. They cannot be bullied by sheer size alone. some food or Look at that food coming in the tide has almost reached its highest point the sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded Another creature roaming the sands tonight. Arctosa littoralis, the beach wolf spider. In the day, these spiders retreat to the shade provided by larger plants on the edge of the beach. Yeah, let's get out but of there. once the sun is gone, they are far more active and on the hunt for a midnight feast. Retreat back to the cave. A wolf spider has found the nest entrance. She is only small, but her venom will quickly incapacitate any ant that tries to fight alone. Oh. It's jumping all over the place. Getting in. for the next spider. Predators are loose in the nest. 
The larvae must be protected. Sit tight till the next spider comes in. Another wolf spider has entered the nest. This one is large, fast, and voracious. Ooh, look at that spitter damage. I think you called it on the rapid fire, Nutter Butters. Good call. Yeah, they're not really attacking that much, are they? Oops. That was a misclick. Like, why aren't those guys gathering food? Well, I guess while we're waiting, we can start clearing out some of the underground. More wolf spiders have found the nest. The ants must protect the queen. this way. Got ourselves plenty of food to rebuild. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Let them come to us. We want to get us around on them. Oof, never mind. <laughs> I guess our spitters are going to take care of them. Jeez. Those spitters are doing work. Nice. The spitters are OP. Get some more of them. Well, there's a bunch of crabs outside, actually. Just kind of doing their thing. 
are safe in our hand healer for the moment. I want to come break through this. As the sun rises over a new day, the tide recedes. The nocturnal creatures return to the shadows, and once again, the harvest must continue. Let's wait on that. Okay. Grab some of this food. Just upgrading while we're at it. The ants will fight to the death. Oh, he wasn't even a challenge. Upgrades are OP. to clear the area. Sit down, or I just gotta keep going. Guess we'll send these guys down here. Send these guys in to clear the area. Spitters. <laughs> All of our upgraded ants just shrug off the enemy now. <laughs> Get 
this side before the tide comes in. food. Edbar says they will be OP until the waves get more difficult. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Those guys are struggling a little bit. Uh, take him up. Guys have a long patrol path. Okay, and that storage is helping. Hey, okay. some spitters. Food, yes. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. Start upgrading some of our workers so they last longer. this guy. There we go. Easy. Look at that damage. Eek. Nice. to level two at least. Everybody says, beautiful, give me that jelly. And insect scraps, we are feasting. The water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. Feast right there. Perfect. Let's get the rest of these guys upgraded. These guys. Get all the food. Okay. 
The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. Get the one-two punch with the gatherers and the attackers. <laughs> Time. We better hurry up and gather. The tide is in, and soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. It would be wise for the Rufa colony to stay underground and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. Right, come on, hurry up and gather the food. Come on, guys. Almost done. There we go. Get back inside. Okay, we can unlock some more food over here. A wolf spider has found the nest. The ants must protect the queen. Easy. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. I think we're safe to attack this for the moment. Get him. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Beautiful. Easy. Upgrading really helps you save space, too. More hermit crabs have found the nest. There are intruders in the nest. Uh, make a short work with our spitters. Just food. Okay. Keep upgrading. Get 
some more tanks going. Alright. Hell of an army we got going. A huge wolf spider has found the colony. This one is a mother, and her recently hatched brood have followed her into the nest. These ants are facing an overwhelming infestation. Eh, wasn't that overwhelming. I think we're doing pretty good. Who's we got? Heck, we could almost send our fighters out to kill some of these crabs. Party army. <laughs> That's right, never butters. The ants must protect the queen. Uh oh, no, oh, get off the queen. Oof. Oh, we're fine. We're okay. Okay. Kill these crabs. As the ants grow Easy. in number, the local predators pose less and less of a danger. Eventually, they will be displaced from this area entirely. Despite the dangers of the beach, it seems this intrepid queen's gamble to establish her colony here has ultimately secured her success. Give me that jelly. Got 2,000 from that level. Noise. How okay. is the colony progressing? The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. All right, we got some more territory now. Let's see, I think we can unlock spitters in the former carrium. Let's keep going for that rapid fire. That was pretty useful. Oh, we need 150 jelly. Never mind. I guess we'll just upgrade our warriors for now. Get all those up to level 2. Food. That is pretty good. Get all these guys to level three.
Okay, on to the next level. Actually, what can we do for upgrades? Do we want... <laughs> we probably want our guys to self-regenerate when out of combat. Yeah, I think that self-repair looks good. to upgrade our queen. Nope. That's all we can do for now. Yeah, not as it looks like. That'd be more useful than the retreating. Alright, let's go on to the next one. I'm gonna fight ladybugs on this one. Here we go. Rapid fire again. You guys are pretty strong. Mm. A number of small Formica, Rufa, and Fusca colonies have established themselves on this beach. Those nearest to the water's edge have enjoyed the first pick of the washed up seafood for the past few days. However, as the sun and moon near alignment and the first spring tide of the month approaches, High tide draws nearer to these intrepid ants. Seemingly aware of their circumstances, these colonies are preparing to relocate to higher ground. There is only one way up the bank, and the route is currently occupied by a small roofer colony. These defenders will have to hold their ground against the oncoming siege. It will be three days before the high tide washes away the competition. If the colony survives, it will inherit the beach. But this won't be an easy fight. Oh boy. Sounds interesting. Food storage. And... Let's just get some warriors. Take this out. Should be enough with three warriors. There are intruders in the nest. <laughs> Awful says, not the ladybugs. Although the nests nearer the water have better access to the food washed up by the sea, this roofer colony need not starve. The plant life growing nearby is home to herds of grey aphids. As they feed on plant sap, these tiny insects excrete droplets of honeydew, which the wood ants find irresistible. They need only protect the aphids from danger to receive a constant supply of sugary liquid. Mm. Doing so is not always simple, however. Hungry ladybird beetles know exactly where the aphids like to graze. They can strip an unguarded stem bare in a mere matter of minutes. The ants will need to keep a close watch over their flock. So... Sounds like we need to go secure those aphids from the ladybugs. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Ooh, we got two blue and yellow ant colonies. We got some competition, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Of course, they got the advantage. Oh. Uh, 
guys can fight the ladybug. Oh boy. Better hurry. Stole something. Okay. Let's get some more workers going. Do some more food storage. Keep still in our aphids. Right. Just got to use our workers for gathering food. of Formica Fusca Black Ants are heading inland. The high ground roofer colony must defend their territory. Oh. Uh. Oh boy. Hurry up, guys. The battle has begun. Send some units over this way. Uh, we need to be a little bit faster here. Roofer colony on the low ground are sending troops to clear a path for their queen. The high ground colony must keep them at bay. Get them, boys, get them. Strong enough to fight off the ladybugs yet. Be doing better. 
The lower ground colonies have relented their siege for now. Night approaches, and with it, it brings a host of nocturnal predators out onto the beach. The high ground ants could go underground to wait out the night, but they would have to leave their precious aphids unguarded. It is a difficult choice for this colony. Face the peril out in the open, or hide away and risk losing their only reliable source of food. I think we'll uh, face them out in the open. No. We need to the keep that food coming in. Begun. Oh boy. Protect those aphids. We need to start upgrading. Now you guys go to this side. Some more workers over there. Colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Oh boy. Yeah, man. We're losing aphids on that side. Keep that food coming. Not bad, not bad. Keep that food coming. Oh boy. I think we need more, more groups, actually. Hmm. Try this. Gonna need more spitters. Not too bad, not too bad. Should probably upgrade our warriors here. I think that's what we're struggling with is we need upgrades. Workers not attack, have these guys defend. There we go. Alright, seems to be working. Barely keeping up with the food here.
Gotta protect our aphids. Get that jelly coming in. I get so close to killing those ladybugs. Okay, let's get some upgrades. Yeah, we're just not getting any food. Dawn breaks. Okay. Stay time. And the battle for the high ground will soon continue. The high ground colony defended their aphid flocks well, succeeding in securing vital food supplies to see them through the oncoming onslaught. No, oh, don't take an aphid. Bastard. Ah, oh, you got one. Aphids are finally producing again. Iron Dad Jelly, that's right. Keep up with their upgrades here. The Fusca colony is sending a wave of warriors to clear a path for their queen. Five is the defense. The Rufa colony are sending another assault. They are desperate to reach higher ground. Okay. Right, doing all right on the upgrades here. Another group of these guys going. This guy's back on defense. Yeah, having those pheromones set up really helps. You can just drag and drop them where you need them. Need another group of warriors. It's a good spot. Mm. More black them. ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. Perfectly. Okay. This guy is ready over here. Keep 
He's going. Alright. Aphids are surviving. More soldiers are emerging from the roof of nest. For spitters. Okay. Upgrading everybody. Level two at least. It's a lot of micromanaging at this level. Let's see, I think we're ready to start breaking some of this out here. Night falls, and a temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids, or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? Okay. You guys work on the underground? Got our workers a little more resilient. Spitters seem to be doing all the work. So I think I'm going to use those as my main defenders. something else here. Okay. Doing good, doing good. Honestly, I could probably put all my workers on 5-2 since aphids aren't producing. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Ten right there. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Hey, food coming. These guys back in their food groups. Okay. All right, not doing too bad. Thank you. 
There are intruders in the nest. Go get them. Yeah, I like the spread we got going. It's doing well. You don't have to worry about the up upstairs right now. Let's keep upgrading. Edbus says, yes, yeah, spitters are the strongest. They seem to be our best one. Especially when they're upgraded. Let's keep breaking in down here. Seems to be working well. We dig at night and we protect aphids in the morning. Or har harvest aphids in the, in the, in the morning. here a little bit. Level two spitters are doing some dirty deeds up there. See if we can get him to level three. So I th this mission's all about survival. <laughs> Don't even have to attack the enemy. Dawn and breaks, hills. and the battle for the high ground will soon continue. The high ground colony defended their aphid flocks well, succeeding in securing vital food supplies to see them through the oncoming onslaught. Okay, some more food coming in soon. Keep gathering underground too. There we go. Yeah, it's coming. Get the rest of these up to level two. More black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. Come. Oh boy. Get him, boys, get him. Keep upgrading. Guess we should expect an attack over here soon. Oh, coming this way again. More soldiers are emerging oh, wait, from the river nest. Never mind. Here they come. Yeah. 
Meet him on the field of battle. Bring these guys up just a smidge. Attack. There we go. Oop. That's not what I wanted. Ready on this side again. Both level lower ground going. colonies are now sending out armies at the same time. Oh boy. Do that. Options. We got options. There we go. That's how you do control groups right there. I have a feeling they're both gonna attack again. Ants and wood ants are heading from their nests to the high ground. Go again. Now that's a battle. Butter says, "Good balance. Thank you, Nut Butters. It's working pretty well." Okay, let's uh, since the guy's down, start getting some food down here again. temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids, or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? Give us that food. Spitters are defending well, looks like. Yep. Just need to get those guys up to level three. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh boy. Uh, let's get some spitters to help them. Be okay, actually. I think they'll be okay. Okay. I'm 
Okay. Ooh, spitters are having a fun time up here. I need to upgrade my food too. Okay, some workers. Level three spitters. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. This is going pretty smooth so far. There are intruders in the nest. Okay, he's got that. Oh boy. You guys gonna be able to handle it? I think so. Protecting those aphids. Very nice. Oh, ho, ho. you got messed up. Uh, I think we're gonna need some warriors up there. Intruders in the nest. Last night's high tide was dangerously close to the low ground nests. Today is their last chance to relocate. The low ground colonies won't show any restraint. Uh -oh. Their attacks will be desperately vicious. Fortunately for the high ground colony, many aphids survived the night. Access to food will be pivotal for the upcoming battle. Okay. I think we're gonna need to get ready here. Yep. 
Guard the flanks, guard the flanks. A large black ant force has been sent from the Fusca nest. Oh boy, here they come. I think we got upgrades. Oh. Back up a little bit. Not exactly sure what determines how some of these upgrades work. Ants are heading toward the high ground colony. I think we got level threes. We are messing them up. Need food. Both lower ground colonies are now sending out armies at the same time. Here they come. Bring it on, bitches. Easy. We survived. We just gotta wait for the date end. Look at all that food they left. What a waste. The day is almost over. The low ground is already starting to flood. The lower ground nests are emptying completely and the ants are rushing up the bank. This is their final assault. Ooh. Oh, here's the queen. Queens are trying to get up to our hill. <laughs> Free food, I see. Completely drowned out. 
The wood ants upon the hill have finally defeated their would-be successors. Tomorrow their empire will expand to the undefended intertidal flats below, commanding both the aphid farms and the bounty of the sea. This colony will rise to become an undeniable power in the undergrowth. Good job, chat. We did it. More jelly. <laughs> kind of upgrades we can get. How is the colony progressing? The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. Oh. Still can't get our uh, spitters on the formicarium. Let's try the challenge, see how we do. The colony seems to have made significant progress. Perhaps it is time we began phase two of the trial. Agreed. I will prepare the feeder colonies. Let's ease them in with a familiar disturbance. Introduce 20 Formica Fusca ants. The Fusca colony is attached, and the ants are on their way. Let's have these guys gather some food while they fight. Upgrade anymore? Sure can. Get that food, yep. I see they haven't lost their potency. Now let's try the Formica Rufa ants. The Rufa Oof. will be more aggressive. Our arrests will need to put up a strong defense. Adding 20 Rufa ants. Yeah, your boss is here now, so you're not making it unfair. Oh, we really need spitters. These guys, these guys are only level one. Please, guys, again, fully upgraded. Our have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Continue the experiment as before, but don't push the colony too hard. Of course not. That would be. Irresponsible. Oh boy. You leaving me alone with him again? This isn't good. Oh, oh, here they Introducing come. Introducing 40 Rufa ants. Attack! I think you're doing damage. I think those are the mortar spitters. Seem to be doing some AoE. At least we're chewing through them. Excellent. Cool. Some more food. Increasing to 50 Rufa ants. You bastard. You bastard. Oh, that's a lot of spitters. Oh, no. Uh, get him, boys. Uh, we're trickling in too much. Isn't good. Come on. Uh, they're doing a lot of damage. At least we got plenty of food. Colony out. Perhaps. 
but I'm feeling generous. Collect your seeds swiftly, my little ants. Now, let's see how they handle the Rufa and the Fusca invaders. Oh. We will start with 30 of each. Here they come. Let's see, can I divide and conquer? Go, 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 go. Yep, not too bad. We're doing okay. Wonderful victory on two fronts. Perhaps we should try three colonies this time. Oh, God. Introducing 30 of each. Uh, Fusca and Raptor ants. Yeah, let's come inside. Yeah, back inside. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll defend them while they come in. There we go. Yeah. Surprise them. Good, good. A little helping hand for what comes next. Collect it quickly. Oh, he's gonna be an asshole, isn't he? Against a sustained flow from all three colonies. Oh, God. Let's see. Oh, you bastard. Oh, here we go. Get ready. See, if we kill them as they trickle in, this should be pretty good. You are doing well, my nice. decrepit reptiles, but what's the Ooh, big guy. A giant tiger beetle has joined the fray. I guess we're doing all right without spitters. <laughs> and another, and another. Oh no, three tiger beetles. What? Okay, <laughs> I guess we're doing all right. Creating our food storage. Full upgrades all around. smoothly at this pace we might beat the game tonight no there's not a ton of levels it's still an early access game good work my little ants but what whoa this? whoa One, two, oh three. no no get off the queen master spiders what it hardly seems fair They went straight for the queen. That was messed up. Oh, well, at least the queen is pretty tanky. I think we'll be all right. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Uh, those guys are all busy up there. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys come back. There we go. Stop attacking my queen. The queen uh, is Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Oh, that was close. That was close. Phew. I 
We just lost all of our workers, too. Holy crap, we barely survived that. Yes, yes! Victory to the Erector! What's going on here? Damn, uh, spiders almost yes, had our the, queen. The ants performed excellently against the Rufa. They just staved off an attack from 40 Rufa ants. 40? I think that's enough for now. You we damn liar. Want to overstress them. Agreed. Scientist number two needs a right old smack in the face. Okay. We are growing back. Continue to watch over the formicarium. Additional experiments will be on hold for the time being. I understand. No more tests. Yeah, that's right, now, Butters. He's a bit of a bastard. Ooh, what's this? Uh, wait. Is this like food we can send to ourselves? Ah, <laughs> it's like unlimited food. So I guess we can like test our upgrades against enemies. We can send waves at ourselves. That's cool. Very cool. So, I think we're gonna start preparing. Yeah, look at all that jelly. We can finally get some uh, spitters. Look at that. Go for rapid fire. 150 to unlock, jeez. Let's get them all the way up to level 3. Okay. Let's uh, get a new room going. Yeah, it could be a pretty big one. Got plenty of territory tiles though. We're gonna want a lot of spitters. Upgrade them all to level three. Is not gonna delete those. A oh, food store is full. Oof. Um, screw it. Let's just um, make all these extra tiles. Food store. Why not? Drop food as they come in. Hell yeah. Spitters, finally. Look at all that food we have stored up. Holy crap. Gonna be a hell of an army. The Eruptor workers have raised their first Formica Rufa ant. Incredible. I wasn't sure it was even possible. See, I think we could just keep sending food. Sending bugs at ourselves so we can keep getting food. Have everything nicely upgraded for the next wave. But it says, give me that jelly. That's right. Let's 
start upgrading. Ooh, that's gonna get a little pricey. Okay. Wait at the nest. Let's start sending some stuff out. The wolf spider. Leave the spitters inside to help deal with that. The new challenger has entered the arena. That's a battle. Give me that food. Set him right on top of the anthill. Hey, these guys not giving me food? They tricked me. These damn things don't even give you food. That's messed up. Alright, send our workers to go help. these would give us food that sucks kind of wasted our food reserves yeah good way to test the army out though oh, we blew through all of our food uh, okay well I think at least move to the next challenge Rehouse the colony. This tank is not suitable for the upcoming tests. It's time to rehouse the colony. You will be awarded an amount of jelly during this switch based on colony size, construction, stored resources, and territory. The oh counterpart colony has been delivered. We need to commence preparation for the final experiment. After that, we can dispose of the specimens and close the project. You should begin transplanting our eruptors into the modular formicarium and be careful with the queen. Yes, yes, I know how to use a trowel. Ugh. Holy crap. I guess the boss is more heartless than the <laughs> scientist, too. She just wants to kill us off after we're done. 409 royal jelly. Holy crap. Close the project. Bah. Did you hear that? Final experiment, my foot. I'm in charge of the colony, and I will decide when we've finished testing. Okay. There. All set in your new home. Grow quickly, my little ants. We have lots of work to do. Uh... That doesn't sound good. Uh, looks like we're in a some kind of glass case here. Uh oh. Uh, I guess I lost all my progress, <laughs> except for my upgrades. All territory, construction, and food have been lost. Oh boy. At least we got all the jelly to upgrade with. 
Oh, we're leaf cutters now. What? Hell yeah. It can it can stun enemies. So these are like the giant ants with the big chompers. So this gives them a oh so these are our tanks right here. These guys are super tanky. They even have a taunt ability. Nutter Butter says Scientist 2 is a bit obsessive. Yes, he is. Let's see, yeah. probably want to upgrade our spitters first. Additional venom damage. I think we want it to be high physical damage. Ooh, crippling. Uh, yeah, I think we want to go crippling because we're all physical. Seems like a good combination. Yeah, we we'll probably get to wait on these guys for now. Yeah, so the warriors and the leaf cutters will be our tanks, basically. Might have, might do the stun. It could be really useful. Stun them and tank them while the spitters just mow them down. Should be a good combination. See, so yeah, let's upgrade our queen since she almost died last time. On dropping to 75% health, spawn 14 Royal Guard. Ooh. Ooh. Unlimited army? Seems pretty useful. I think that might be more worth it. Yeah, we'll go with stun nutter butters. I think that's a good choice. Ooh, upon dropping to seventy-five percent health, restore your queen's health back to full. Hmm, I think the healing would be better. Let's do that. Okay. Sitting a lot better this time. We have no food. Can't do much yet. So maybe... Start a room over here. One down here. At least get them started. And that's all we can do. All right. <laughs> So we are on 3.1. The harvest. Try out these leaf cutters. Got a medium. Yeah, let's try out the stun. Okay. All right, well, I'm gonna go on a quick bio break before we get started. Come back and try out the leaf cutters. See you guys in a few minutes.
Okay, I am back. Jump back in. Right, go with stun. Let's go try out the leaf cutters. This young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. Forest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. Hmm. So I think leaf cutters work differently. They're more uh, like herbivores. They, they feed off of leaves and plants. Good fighters, but... They don't eat bugs, so we have to find different food source. The juicy grubs nearby are a staple meal for many underground opportunists, but for now at least, they will go ignored. This budding Atacephalotis leaf cutter colony has only one viable source of food, and it must be collected above ground. That's what I thought. <laughs> Can't even eat grubs. Thank you, Nut Butters. Okay. The small scouting party of minor workers could lead any number of deadly jungle creatures back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. Um, how do I... How do I gather food? Uh, what? Well, how do I... How do they... <laughs> oh, I need a leaf store. Okay. Guess we'll start that right here, then. We need a place to put the leaves first. Let's see what exactly does it cost? Buy food to place. I don't have any food. The heck? Oh, it must be like stored up food from the queen. That's weird. <laughs> okay. These guys are definitely different. Will you start gathering now? The workers have located a patch of young seedlings. Just what they were looking for. The leaves are soft enough to be sliced up with ease and carried back to the nest. That's cool how they climb up the stems. Very realistic. The harvested leaf chunks are not eaten directly. Instead, they are used by the very smallest minim workers to cultivate a nutritious fungus. Refuse tile. Slowed and damaged, what? So I guess we need like a whole room for refuse. Ah. Oh. The ants activities outside the nest have not gone unnoticed. They are being watched. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got a spider looking at us. Let's come on this side. Okay, so we need a refuse pile. You guys come back in for a second. Let's try that in here. 
Whoa, look at those tiny guys. What? What the heck do the tiny ones do? So I think we need to create the refuse piles, which is basically like compost, which turns it into fungus so that they can eat it. The most accessible leaves are located to the north of the nest entrance. However, another atta colony has already laid claim to them. The close proximity of these nests places the two colonies in direct competition with one another. Time will tell which has the potential to grow into a great empire, and which will submit to the unforgiving law of the undergrowth. Oh, good rival colony, here we go. Exactly sure what the refuse does. <laughs> nope. <laughs> More leaf piles over here. I don't, I don't even know what this red and green bar means. Let's read some of these tooltips. Leaf cutters gather food differently to other species. They only eat fungus, which they cultivate from leaves. You only find leaves on the surface. Okay. You'll need a chamber to store leaves before they can be gathered. Okay, we already did that. Okay. Miners are the workers of the leaf cutter colony. They are smaller. Oh, so that's what those tiny little ants are. Though not the smallest than other colony members and can carry only small leaf chunks in a single run. They are also slowed whilst carrying leaves. Hmm. Every brood tile you build will hatch a minimum of a minim. So the smallest are called minims for free. These tiny ants perform two important tasks of the colony. Taking small chunks of leaf from storage to the nurseries to be cultivated into fungus. Ah, removing the remains of used fungus from the nurseries. Gotcha, so this is like a compost to get rid of the the waste. Very interesting. <laughs> what a what a cool concept for an ant colony. I mean I guess it's based off real leaf cutters. So I think we need to create another chamber. You guys keep harvesting leaves. And I guess the little tiny guys will keep uh, dealing with the food. Just kind of cool. food you have. Oh, I guess that's what the green bar means. The top here. And the red bar must be the waste. Interesting. Yep, that's what it's taken away from. Okay. So you want to keep the red down, try to get the green up. Very curious. I like the music. <laughs> yep. Pretty cool concept, huh, Nutter Butters? Get 
Get some speed tiles around here. Alright, guys, keep gathering food. As the sun sets below the horizon and the thick rainforest canopy shrouds all but the slightest glimmer of moonlight, the predators of the night begin to emerge. Oh boy. I don't think we have enough. <laughs> Uh, media ant, major ant. Ooh, those guys are expensive. Holy crap! <laughs> we won't be able to get warriors for a while. <laughs> those guys are super expensive. Try to gather quietly here in the nighttime. Hopefully, we don't get attacked yet. So far, I like the concept of the leaf cutter so far. Very interesting mechanics. I think what it said is each of these tiles makes more of the, the minims, the little tiny ants. Yep. Little hatch. So each for each brood tile we get one of those. Attacking the enemy colony's trails may push them back temporarily, but be prepared for them to return with stronger numbers and retaliation. Oh boy. Okay. Refuse stored in the refuse chamber will decompose slowly, freeing up space for more. Refuse chambers will reduce neighboring tiles, upgrades points, so build them away from nurseries. Okay. Gotta keep it in its own room. Ants passing through a refuse chamber may suffer an illness, damaging and reducing their stats and movement speed. Oh, okay. So this makes our ants sick. No need to pass through them. Okay, so we gotta keep it completely isolated. Once fungus has been spent, it remain its remains will need to be removed before more can be cultivated. Okay, so the minims are really important then. We don't open this up here. Doing good, doing good. <laughs> Look how tiny those guys are. Delivering poop and leaves. Uh, I guess it's not poop, it's fungus. Dead fungus. That better says same. It's like the ve vegans and meat eaters working together. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Actually, I think this whole ant colony is pretty much vegan compared to the other ants we were just playing. Are they like eating other bugs? So we're keeping up with the compost. You guys go help.
Interesting. I really like how they have different types of ant colonies in this game. Kind of changes it up a little bit. This guy's back on there. Greater storage. Okay, I think we can start working on some warriors here. These guys cost 80, these guys cost 150. Oh boy. <laughs> well, we have to go very sparse on the big boys. One down. Oh my god, those guys are huge. Look how big that is. That's just a regular warrior ant for these guys. <laughs> Guess these uh, leaf cutter herbivores sure can pack a punch of their own. Let's see. How's he do against this? These rove beetle larvae are distant relatives of the European oh, Devil's wow. Coach Horse. Despite a few million years of separation, they share the same carnivorous appetite, razor-sharp pincers, and most importantly, a fearsome final form. Yeah, he fucked him up. <laughs> Damn. Get a few more of these guys. Oh, let's try one of the big boys. See what those guys look like. Can we clear this way? Ooh, that is a big egg. What? No way. Holy cow. Those guys are even bigger. The leaf cutters have raised their first major ant. Its swollen head is filled with muscle to power its crushing jaws. No Few joke. You stand against it in combat and escape unscathed. This champion warrior will make a fine addition to the colony. Oh, those guys don't stand a chance. What? Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. <laughs> that is insane. All right, you guys go protect. Oh, take out the spider. Daybreak has arrived, and the creatures of the night scurry back to the dark crevices of the undergrowth. For the ants, however, the objectives of the day remain unchanged. Locate vegetation, defend supply lines, and process leaves. There is no time for rest. This will keep the big boys on uh, guard duty while these these guys harvest. Let's get a few more of those. Workers on the job.
have no issues with the compost so far. Little Butter says, some parts of this music reminds me of Austin Powers. Yeah, I could get that. Really interesting reference. <laughs> Similar style, for sure. Okay. See, I wonder if... I should put these guys. They do better at cutting the leaves. Look at that. You could probably take a much bigger chunk. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, I guess we'll get start putting those guys to work. Let's get another big boy. those upgrades you don't need a ton of tiles pretty nice these guys are definitely a slow build up so you get used to them they are tearing that thing apart Come to this side next. Starting to get a bit of an army built up here. Guess we'll have to rely on our workers for the main force. Let's see, let's, let's bring these guys down here. Clear up some more space. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Easy. A brightly patterned jumping spider, say Casviri de Purpurius, has subdued one of the workers. This expert solo hunter combines extreme agility with incredible forward vision, oh, allowing going, it to pounce on unsuspecting prey with pinpoint accuracy. Can't handle the big boys, can you? chat right now. Start clearing some more space when we're ready. Uh, let's bring these guys down here. Oh wait, oh, we don't want them to go through the... Leafcutters aren't the only ants nearby. Whilst the two Atta colonies joust for territory, oh. Odontomachus Bowery trap jaws rearing. They can be found hunting alone or in small packs for vulnerable invertebrates to take back to their nest. 
They use snapping jaws to bludgeon their targets, exerting 300 times their body weight in a single blow. We should probably upgrade our workers since they're our main force at the moment. And the cheapest. These guys are sick. Alright, we're ready here. Get him. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Those guys don't stand a chance, holy crap. Get all these guys upgraded to level 2 at least. At least the little guys don't get sick. The ants must fight. Yeah, those guys look weird. <laughs> Got these giant pincers on them. Workers. Send two this way. Probably uh, do a separate worker force as well. Guess we can do them right here. Good to have multiples. Night falls, and under the cloak of darkness, velvet worms, bush crickets, and harvestmen emerge from their hiding places. Any ant straying from the relative safety of the trail will likely meet with an unfortunate end. What the hell was that? Ooh, it's a daddy long legs. Bring it on, bitch. Get him. Oh, An ant oh, has he's fallen running. prey to a wandering harvestman. Its long, slender legs keep its vulnerable body elevated high above the leaf litter. <laughs> now if I stun him... It can release strong-smelling odors to deter other predators. A stern response will be needed to drive this striding nuisance away. Where are you going, buddy? You, you trying to run? Huh? Come back! Oh, you can't do nothing with my stuns. Alright. 
Alright, you guys start gathering up here. So I'll use the main force to clear out the enemies. The secondary force to keep harvesting. Whoa! That's a much bigger daddy long legs. Ooh, he does some damage. Good thing I got stunned. Hey, where are you going? Come back. Can't run away. Overwhelmed by the defensive leaf cutter forces, the harvestman decides to make a swift exit. Come back here. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, now I'm fighting too. Man. Should probably upgrade our big boys. No, they're not ready to upgrade. Well, looks like we took them down. Clear out this side. Oh. oh wait, those guys are on the other side of the cliff. Never mind. Okay, can we upgrade? No, we cannot. I think it's because we lost took some casualties there. Pretty good army with all those workers mixed in. Oh, that's like some special spawner, I guess. What? All right, uh, red guys, go with them. I'm doing okay. Well, they're fucking up my workers. Let's put a few more down there. Might need a separate force of red here. The ants will fight to the death. Workers on this side. I see what you mean, Nutter Butters. That definitely sounds like Austin Powers. Very similar. Upgrades going. Alright, you guys come over here. The battle has begun. Got the worker forces pretty even now. Start another one of these. Yeah, he's not keeping up with the food.
think our opponents are winning on the leaf race. We better start collecting quicker. Does it take from my pool when I... No, it doesn't. Okay. That is good. guys the other side Are you done with this area yet? as the sun rises over the treetops above the diurnal jungle invertebrates emerge once again to replace their nighttime counterparts the ants will remain steadfast in their efforts. All must be risked for the harvest. Okay. I guess more big guy is going for the other group. Uh, start another one over here. separate. Yeah, you told me not of you can't unhear it once you hear the Austin Powers and the music. That's right. Okay, just need one more red guy for the side. Keep it even. Oof, we're gonna need some more compost. Workers get sick as they go through it. The battle has begun. Catch up with the enemy. Oh, he's gonna beat me. <laughs> yeah, we need to start collecting quickly. He is 3,000 ahead of me. One of the ants has fallen prey to a young, leaf mimic praying mantis. Once in range, its long, razor clad forelegs can ensnare and impale victims with lightning speed.
Okay. Doing better. Just need to really keep up with our enemy over there. Nope. Nope, don't do that. I need to go start disrupting his path. Yeah, let's go do that. The ants must fight. So put all the big boys on that group. That was the wrong group, of course. Let's go disrupt his path. Compost. Oh yeah, look at all that food. Okay. Let's upgrade these guys. Get some more going. These leaves are contested. The leaf cutters will generally not attack unless provoked, but today there's too much at stake. Only a strong show of force will deter the opposing colony. There we go. Go fuck them up. Keep them from harvesting. Coming pretty well, Julie. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to disrupt the enemy's line, keep them from harvesting. Oh crap! The opposing leaf cutters have retreated from one of their harvesting sites. They may have been easily startled this time, but they'll soon be back, and in greater numbers. What? Okay, I need to go. I honestly think I need to go wipe him out if I can. Yeah, let's go wipe him out. Let's do it. A fight has broken out over the harvesting rights to a sapling. Food. Let's go wipe this bastard out. Yeah, get in there. <laughs> Take out his queen. Oh, we are fucking him up. Oh, he's got level threes? What? I hope he can take this. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. We're gonna have to back out. He's got way too many. Ooh. Yeah, we need food. That messed us up. Oh, is he coming for a counter attack? I hope not.
Jesus. I think we got outplayed on this one. <laughs> Might have to restart and chalk it up to a learning curve. We'll see how we do, though. Guess we can start connecting these. Oh, we need food. Yeah, it's coming over here. gonna beat us if we don't do something let's just go try to disrupt him I guess the leaf cutters have clashed due north of the nest dusk approaches as the twilight fades, the daytime creatures withdraw to their hidden refuges to wait out the darkness. The ants can afford no such luxury. The cogs of the leafcutter machine will grind on throughout the night. <sighs> he is messing us up. Ugh. We're going to need upgrades before we go after him. Opposing Atta Colony has retreated from one of its sites to the northwest, leaving unguarded foliage ripe for the picking. Okay. Uh, we need to keep upgrading our big guys. <laughs> Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. What? The hell? Hmm. I think we're gonna have to restart this one, guys. We are struggling. Let's see. Let's the do a mad dash. Have clashed due north of the nest. Mad dash for the food over here. Go, go, go. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Well, oh, that guy heals. What the hell? Start upgrading some of these red guys. We're catching up on food, but I think he's gonna beat us. He doesn't have far to go. Yep. As Damn the it. leaves nearby are depleted and the superior hillside at a colony cuts off access to new pastures, the nest falls into ruin. The ants grow weak, the gardens rot, and the <laughs> queen is left to starve. Her it's a food race, we gotta ended. do better. So I think the the goal is we gotta start disrupting their lines earlier. Okay. 
Try that again now that we kind of know what we're doing. Okay. This young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. Just a couple. The small scouting party of minor workers could lead any number of deadly jungle creatures back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. The workers have located a patch of young seedlings, just what they were looking for. The leaves are soft enough to be sliced up with ease and carried back to the nest. The harvested leaf chunks are not eaten directly. Instead, they are used by the very smallest minim workers to cultivate a nutritious fungus. Okay. I need to deal with this compost. I completely forgot about it. The ants' activities outside the nest have not gone unnoticed. They are being watched. Alright. Yeah, it's dealt with. Let's get some food. are sick. Great. Some more workers going. Come on, guys. Try to wrap this up quicker this time. Thank you. 
Sure, the most accessible leaves are located to the north of the nest entrance. However, another Atta colony has already laid claim to them. The close proximity of these nests places the two colonies in direct competition with one another. Time will tell which has the potential to grow into a great empire, and which will submit to the unforgiving law of the undergrowth. Let's get our first warriors going. Slow upstart. Guys, back at base, working on these things. Some more workers in. Make your lives easier. Guys, that guy's ready at a thousand. Need to pick up the pace. Butters asks, what is my strategy for this round? I am going to try to build warriors quicker and go disrupt their gathering. They don't outpace me. Okay, I have enough workers to get started. guys i think too i i tried to go for the really big ones a little too As early the sun sets below the horizon and the thick rainforest canopy shrouds all but the slightest glimmer of moonlight the predators of the night begin to emerge oh boy to get some warriors out I'm still lagging behind on the leave collecting. See if we can get one of the big guys going for defense at least. And uh 
haul some bigger leaves. I'll start working on some speed tiles to so they get around the base quicker. Okay. The leafcutters have raised their first major ant. Its swollen head is filled with muscle to power its crushing jaws. Few stand against it in combat and escape unscathed. This champion warrior will make a fine addition to the colony. Trying to catch up a little bit. Okay, get another big boy. Yeah, let's go for some more of these guys first. guys on that leaf. some more space for our workers here. These rove beetle larvae are distant relatives of the European Devil's Coach Horse. Despite a few million years of separation, they share the same carnivorous appetite, razor-sharp pincers, and most importantly, a fearsome final form. A lot more workers going. Post here.
Too much space for these guys. That should actually be plenty. <laughs> It's come together, isn't it, Nutter Butters? Hopefully we can catch up to him this time. Ah, he's already at 3,500 almost already. You gotta go faster. Daybreak has arrived, and the creatures of the night scurry back to the dark crevices of the undergrowth. For the ants, however, the objectives of the day remain unchanged. Locate vegetation, defend supply lines, and process leaves. There is no time for rest. Okay, let's get a few more of these guys. start disrupting our enemy a little bit. What is he, level one? Yeah, let's go after him. A brightly patterned jumping spider, say Casveri de Purpurius, has subdued one of the workers. This expert solo hunter combines extreme agility with incredible forward vision, allowing it to pounce on unsuspecting prey with pinpoint accuracy. An ant has fallen prey to a wandering harvestman. Its long slender legs keep its vulnerable body elevated high above the leaf litter, and when threatened, it can release strong smelling odors to deter other predators. A stern response will be needed to drive this striding nuisance away. Overwhelmed by the defensive leafcutter forces, the Harvestman decides to make a swift exit. We are not keeping up with our compost. Him for a minute. Try to scare him off. These leaves are contested. The leaf cutters will generally not attack unless provoked, but today there's too much at stake. Only a strong show of force will deter the opposing colony. I'll take from his leaves first. How about that? <laughs> Send our guys back over here, our regular workers. Let's 
Let's get our fighters over there to start messing them up. The ants must fight. You guys group up first. Fight together. that line. The leaf cutters have clashed northeast of the nest. Opposing leaf cutters have retreated from one of their harvesting sites. There we go. They may have been easily startled this time, but they'll soon be back, and in greater numbers. for now. Get to really start going after him soon. <laughs> Going out to that side. But I guess that means we should go meet him. Where's he going? Oh, he's going this way. One of the ants has fallen prey to a young, leaf mimic praying mantis. Once in range, its long razor-clad forelegs can ensnare and impale victims with lightning speed. Yeah, I'm getting some food coming in now. Cutters have clashed to the northwest. Keep him from harvesting over here. Leaf cutters aren't the only ants nearby. Whilst the two Atta colonies joust for territory, Odontomachus Bowery trap jaws roam the clearing. They can be found hunting alone or in small packs for vulnerable invertebrates to take back to their nest. They use snapping jaws to bludgeon their targets, exerting 300 times their body weight in a single blow. Okay. Some upgrades going at least. He's coming for more, isn't he? I don't think so. Let's 
time to fight, buddy. That's how it is, huh? Got my main force coming in. The Bring it on. The colony has retreated from one of its sites to the northwest, leaving unguarded foliage ripe for the picking. All right. Let's see if we can get ahead in food here. Night falls, and under the cloak of darkness, velvet worms, bush crickets, and harvestmen emerge from their hiding places. Any ant straying from the relative safety of the trail will likely meet with an unfortunate end. Getting these guys upgraded. Yeah, he's at 6,000 already? Holy crap. Uh, I think I need to go disrupt him again. So these guys over here for now. Where do you think you're going? What? A Paracanthus varius bush cricket has spotted the ants. Its thorax and appendages are adorned with sharp protruding spikes, offering 360 degrees of protection and turning its substantial forelegs into a pair of deadly flails. This spiny devil will not easily be deterred. I think we're going for a su supply line swap. Jeez. <laughs> the leaf cutters have clashed northeast of the nest. I slowed him down pretty good there. These guys back. Let's go disrupt this lane real quick. Go, 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 go. Oh no, don't let me get those leaves. Damn it. Right here. Come on. Disrupt them. I think we need more big boys is the problem here. Ooh, got a bit of a battle going on. But I got upgrades on you, bitch. Oh, he's got more men. Uh... I 
need to group up. Okay, you ready? Let's go take his ass out. Come on. There we go. I can do it too, you bitch. <laughs> but it says abort mission. Not this time. The Leafcutters have secured a vital harvesting site from their opponents. Oof. No kidding. Oh, he's going up top now, isn't he? Let's go fight him in the north. And get there. Let's see, let's start making another worker force to keep harvesting. The leaf cutters have clashed to the northwest. Yeah. I think I'm starting to catch up to him. Yeah, fuck him up. Come on. The leaf cutters have secured a vital harvesting site from their opponents. Now we're talking. If they drop that off, we'll deny them from this one. As the sun rises over the treetops above, the diurnal jungle invertebrates emerge once again to replace their nighttime counterparts. The ants will remain steadfast in their efforts. All must be risked for the harvest. Oh wait, where is he going? What? The leaf cutters have clashed northeast of the nest. Where? What? He's going back for it. Okay. All right. Let's get a nice concave on him. <laughs> Oh, he's fighting a spider. Alright, we need to upgrade more of our guys here. Oh, he's kind of messing us up. Come on, guys, get in there. Right, 
attack. Get him, get him. Okay, now we're doing better. The leaf cutters have secured a vital harvesting site from their opponents. Oof. You do some harvesting. Guys weren't doing anything. See if we can go still the north from him now. There we go. These workers going, our secondary force. Much better. The leaf cutters have clashed northeast of the nest. There we go. Just hold them off till the main force gets there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Now <laughs> block the choke. Don't let them get back home. While I'm doing that. Keep getting these workers going. Opposing leaf cutters have been cleared from an area to the northeast. Harvesting operations can now continue. Look at that. Let's see if we can keep killing them and then steal their leaves. <laughs> Trying to get more. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Say that is force at us. We got our asses kicked. Jeez. At least we disrupted him. Some more big boys. Okay, 
Yeah, man. It's a race now. Oh boy. coming in. The ants will fight to the death. Oh my god. The whole time I was not harvesting. That's a big face palm moment right there. I need to be careful with that. Like, why is this stuff not coming in? Okay, I think we might be able to catch up. That's all it was. The battle has begun. I think we severely crippled our enemy up north there. Slowly catching up. Dusk approaches. As the twilight fades, the daytime no. <laughs> creatures withdraw to their hidden refuges to wait out the darkness. Uh, he's gonna beat us the again. The can afford no such luxury. The cogs of the leaf cutter machine will grind on throughout the night. We needed to go fight him. Uh, otherwise, he's gonna win. Yep, he's gonna mess us up. His forces kind of split up, so that might help. Mm. There we go. There we go. Still his food if we can. The opposing Atta colony has retreated from one of its sites to the northwest, leaving unguarded foliage ripe for the picking. Yeah, fuck it. Let's get in there. Ooh. 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 
Uh, I think we need a retreat. <laughs> He just spawned a whole bunch of shit. Uh, actually, let's, let's try to steal this. Uh, fuck, he is messing me up. So close to winning. Crap. No, oh, these things are disrupting me. He's got too many big boys. The leafcutters have secured a vital harvesting site from their opponents. Fuck. Yeah, we need to keep him from harvesting. What the fuck? Okay, you guys can harvest. Just gotta block him. There are intruders in the nest. Oh boy. No, oh, they're going for my queen. The ants must protect the queen. <sighs> Crap. Those things attack my queen at this time. Seriously? Damn it. The ants must protect the queen. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Wow, seriously? The queen is dead. Her royal guard was slaughtered and her <laughs> chambers unceremoniously ravaged. The Damn scavengers it. of the undergrowth will eat hearty tonight. This is a hard level. Holy crap. Well, guys, I guess that's it for tonight. Let's try to stream this again on Tuesday. Let's see if we can get any further. We uh, stream it at 6.30 p.m. Central on Tuesday. So if you guys enjoyed this game, leave a like, subscribe, and let me know if you want me to play it more or play some other games. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night. I wish you well.